It's crooked. <laughs> Hi, Aquarius. How are you guys? Welcome to your September reading. This is for anybody that has their sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or midheaven in the sign of Aquarius. However, if you just happen to click on this video, you had a hunch, it told you right and welcome. I hope you hear all that you need at this time. So let's dig into what came out for your September reading. Energetically, you're walking into the Ace of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Coming into the obstacles positions by the middle of the month, if you haven't already felt this energy, you have the Queen of Pentacles followed by the Page of Wands and the Moon card. And I'm trying to project, but I've already lost my voice almost twice today. So forgive me. I know I talk low for some of you guys, but I mean, try to turn the volume up. Bear with me. I'm doing all that I can. <laughs> um, but yeah, coming into the end of September, what you need to focus on to overcome these conflicting energies, if not just in general, how you will be feeling energetically. We have the Magician card with the Temperance card and the World card. Bottom of the deck, you also have the Hermit, the Tower, and the Wheel of Fortune. So there are some things that you are walking into by the end of September, October that the universe might have to force your hand upon, but they are some pretty powerful beginnings. I feel like there is a portal that will be open for you guys at the end of September. Um, so take advantage of the energy. I want to say pay attention to the 10th and the 12th. What will be shown to you on those days okay i feel like there are some messages coming in that you need at this time it might shake you up a little bit especially with that tower card that i did see okay it might be something that you don't want to face but you definitely need to deal with but yeah i don't know i don't know how i was trying to like explain that just really pay attention pay attention to your dreams okay any psychic hunches that you get any synchronicities that you get um, just pay attention to the way that you feel right pay attention to your mood on those days I, I feel like it's gonna tell you everything that everything that you need to know um, for this next phase that you will be entering into I'm also getting like mixed signals um, I feel like your brain or your external environment is telling you one thing but your intuition is telling you something else and you don't know like which one to really listen to I'm getting that and I'm also just getting the mixed signals with the moon card I feel like you guys are confused there's something that you want that you have a hard time achieving right now something hasn't been realized and that's been the source of your confliction. I'm also hearing faith without works is dead, okay? With this magician, the temperance card, and the world card. So focus on that. Don't just solely rely on the external environment to tell you what you need to know. If you're not seeing the results of your labor, that doesn't mean that things aren't still happening. It's just on a more spiritual, intangible, level because it's still needing time to mature that's what i'm getting um there's something that's just happening behind the scenes and you of course don't know because it is not a part of your conscious awareness it can't be at this time you're not quite ready for it you haven't been prepared enough and so that's what you're doing coming into september you need to realize that this period of feeling like you've plateaued it's just that it's a period and it's trying to show you what still needs to be built upon 
if not on a character level, just like with your finances. And that's what's been holding you back from being able to have this thing. You don't have enough um, just working on your own skill sets. If you've taken up a new hobby or a creative endeavor, um, your writing talents are improving, but at a slow rate, however, still improving. You know what I'm saying? You can't complain about the rate at which the rate at which you are growing don't rush a good thing okay so i feel like you have to be very comfortable with things moving a little bit slower for the month of september because we are in virgo season and they take their time with making decisions because they would rather do it right the first time than to have to go back and redo it later so that's kind of where the saying like you work smarter not harder comes into play and they are really good Virgos at doing that. So embody more of that Virgoian, Virgoian energy that does not flow off the tongue but embody that, that energy okay of earthiness. I feel like some of you guys need to be a little bit more grounded too this month that you don't um, and befall I don't even know if befall is the word but that you don't easily become delusional but again you have the magician here and the temperance card here with the world of card with the world card for the end of September so this is all about spiritual alignment okay remaining in tune with yourself balancing out being in flow with life and the law of attraction okay because with this magician card this is um having the raw materials to alchemize your life so you're being again presented with this really great opportunity by the end of the month um the portals are open i'm just hearing portals are open for you okay you have everything that you need to literally turn your situation around if you've been in a bind if you haven't been feeling the greatest about yourself right on a self-esteem level you're able to change that by the end of september sometimes we just get so caught up in what we're wanting to achieve that we lose sight of ourselves okay so keep that in mind that you have to take time for self-care too by the end of the month in order to better be able to manifest or attract things into your life right you guys are going to be ascending to higher levels of spiritual awareness i'm hearing spiritual awakening uh, more of an understanding of cosmic consciousness as a whole understanding um the whole is better than the sum of its part the, how does that go because the sum of the parts is the whole but I don't know <laughs> I'll plug that whenever I get my my life together but yeah you you understand oneness the importance of oneness the importance of also individual differences and your own uniqueness and needing to stand out some of you guys need to come out of your shell with this moon card with this crab here in the corner okay so stop being so reserved so don't play dumber than your mark okay there we go because you're not dumb i feel like that's a way to kind of preserve yourself and your ego in a sense where you downplay yourself and your intelligence how brilliant you are how valuable you are the insights that you have right if you are psychic just the things that come to you if you're single and you're dating i'm hearing pay attention to the red flags for the month of september that might be some of your obstacles because people can say anything right they can make up a whole hell of a lot of different stories about who they are and their character but unless they're going to actually show you those things it is a facade so pay attention to the red flags um yeah again because she's wearing purple and this is also like divine intervention as far as messages trying to get to you so 
just make sure that you are paying attention and watch out for like any other forms of deception here with the magician card because this can be a trickster so beware of the smooth talkers beware of the people that get easily offended or defensive when asking them questions and trying to get to know them there might be something more to it so just be cautious if you're dating um, don't really focus on love if you are having issues like body image issues issues with your self-esteem if you have problems with anger um, or you just are prone to giving mixed signals because like one minute you want commitment one minute you don't then take more time to heal in the month of September than to really focus on a relationship so this is forging your own path and being a little bit more independent getting back into balance with yourself now if you're already in a relationship I feel like there are some slight disagreements on the way money should be handled who should be taken care of or looking after the finances um, just the dynamic of the relationship as well I feel like some of one of some of some of you but yeah but whoever's in the relationship one of you are just used to doing things for yourself by yourself taking care of yourself you know and so you're not used to having to rely on someone somebody else being dependable right you're not used to sharing you don't necessarily understand emotion because you don't tap into your own emotional nature okay male or female whoever's watching this i feel like this is you though what you're struggling with and so just um watch your dealings and how you deal with people by the end of the month okay you know there's always room for improvement so don't get offended by any suggestions that are made coming from your partner um they really just want to have your back have your best interest at heart okay and I know that it can be hard when you hear input from somebody and you feel like your way is the best way but it takes two to tango right this person is here to balance you out to be the yin to your yang or the yang to your yin you know what I'm saying so that's what I have to say about that so yeah just be really open with what the universe wants to show you this month again on the 10th and the 12th i would say um heavily those two days something big i feel like something big is going to happen for you guys and it can be very positive it might cause a little bit of a shake up for some but it's still necessary for where you're going what you're being prepared for again okay as far as chakras are concerned your throat chakra is under active the root chakra is under active your sacral chakra is over active your solar plexus is under active and your third eye crown chakra are here and are under active again always heed your own personal intuition don't try to force any of these situations to fit if this is not what you're going through then just keep up the work that you're doing okay um but yeah at this time if what i said did resonate definitely give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family and do subscribe for more um little caveat if i did not mention in the beginning of the video towards the mid-month when i do those mid-month readings that i've been doing i want to switch up the spread and try something else put a little zhuzh a little fire under my butt um, and change up my style of reading so i'm going to play with that a little bit if it doesn't work i might try something else or just revert back so bear with me with those changes that will be coming up as well um, i am working on the website so trying to get everything together for that still learning a lot about how to build a website but hopefully by the end of September I will have everything in place to start opening myself up to do private readings so that is exciting thank you for everybody that has subscribed and found enjoyment in the videos that I make for you all um, I love you all and I will talk to you soon